Okay, we're off to another service call. Uh, this one is a no cool. Uh, if you remember from my videos, I did one where I replaced a TXV a couple weeks ago, put a new check valve in, kind of repaired it, reverse it about to look like hell. Uh, this is the unit that was sitting right next to it. The downstairs system is offline for this gentleman now. So uh, I asked if he was trying to win some sort of bad luck award. But we're gonna see what's going on with that. Hopefully it's not too bad. Uh, be kind to the guy. Okay, just like we were working on the other day, it's a train XL 1400 heat pump from about 12 years ago. Uh, as you remember, the other one had a bad TXV and a reversing valve slaughtered. This one hasn't been changed, looks much better, you can tell. So we're looking to see what is the problem. It won't come on, there's air coming out inside. The first thing we go for here in the summer is the capacitor, so we'll go ahead and check that first. As you see here, the capacitor is bulged out, indicating that it is blown. We'll see if it's just a blown capacitor or that we have a motor that blew this capacitor. We'll also check the star capacitor, see if it is good. There's our capacitor. You can see the top, how it's domed up there. It should be flat. See with some of the information here on the capacitor. Uh, you have 45.5, you see the 5 UF and 45 UF, it's just microfarad. 5 for the fan, 45 for the compressor, 440 volts. Uh, always get back with the same voltage or higher. Uh, here's the tolerance plus or minus six percent so you don't want your uh, microfarad rating to be more than six percent above or below the given rating right there 45.5 and um, that's what a busted one looks like there's our new one in place all the wires there are commons there are red our hermetic wires are an orange and we have uh, one fan wire that one heading over there well, we, uh, capacitor was the only thing wrong. We started her up. Everything else looks pretty good. sub one's coming up. Superheat's going down. So we're probably good to go. Uh, so I'll take some temperatures inside just to confirm everything's working all right. And uh, I think we're going to be happy campers on this one. Uh, since we had a bad capacitor, always check your amperages on your compressor and fan or whatever your capacitor serves. This is the indoor blower motor. Check that. Uh, use your common wire. That's a common wire for the whole unit. Or, uh, the common side uh, for this unit. Uh, and since you can't really reach the compressor on these little trains, a lot of times, sometimes you can fish it in there. I know there's a couple meters that you can fish in there, but mine kind of hard to fit in there. You can do this one and just subtract out the outdoor fan motor, and it'll give you a pretty fair representation of what the compressor's pulling. The outdoor fan motor is easy. It's the black wire right there in front of us. It was pulling 0.9. It's rated at 0.9. Uh, the compressor was pulling, I think, 9. And it's rated at, uh, let's see, 13.5, so we're well within range. The charge looks fine. Subcooling's uh, within uh, 3 of 10, which is what I'm using here. It doesn't actually have a rated subcooling, so I'm going with 10. That's usually a pretty fair guess. And uh, I'm not going to tamper with it unless I, someone comes and tells me it's 14 or something like that. But uh, without knowing, I'm going to go with 10. All right, you see we have a breaker here. Uh, double pole, 30 amps, square D. I took my hoses off. I turned the, uh, or I took my low side hose off, turned the breaker off, and let the pressure come down. I took my high side hose off and turned it back on, and nothing happened. And for a second, I thought it was on delay, but then after several minutes went by, I knew there was something else going on. And this breaker wasn't allowing any power through, which uh, the homeowner said he was trying to mess around with it. He was getting some intermittent results, which is consistent with this. A little discoloration there. Not too bad. Not as bad as I've seen them, but we're going to go down there to Home Depot or Lowe's and pick up a new, uh, Square D breaker to put in that box, and we should be good to go. Back in traffic again on College Road. About the same place I was the other day. Except it's only uh, 3 o'clock today. It's pretty warm. About ready for the floodgates to open. We got a new breaker in that unit. Everything ran fine. Uh, just a bad breaker and bad capacitor at the same time. I'm glad I turned the uh, breaker off to take my high side hose off, or I would never know. But. I have a feeling the summer service floodgates are about to open here.